impact your Labor Day weekend. All right, thanks, Gene. Tonight, four men are safe at home in Hernando County. Meanwhile, their boat is still upside down somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico after it capsized during a nighttime fishing trip. Our Allison Morrow is with us now with what saved their lives and why law enforcement says that it should be a lesson to all boaters. Good evening, Allison. Hi, Andrew. Well, this is a very busy weekend for boaters. We all know that. So, Florida Wildlife Commission officers will be out patrolling. They want to make sure everyone has equipment required by law. The most important piece they say these men weren't wearing. Just three weeks ago, Jeff Hardy caught this cobia aboard his 21 foot boat. And so Friday night, he and three friends set out to do the same. Until the wind picked up and they say waves doubled in size. Coming in the back, coming in the front. We're just rocking. We couldn't keep up with it. Like slow motion, it went bloop. Within seconds, they were all clinging to the boat's side, trying to get on top of it. When it started going over, I'm thinking, this ain't gonna be good, but stay with the boat. Jeff reached into his pocket and found his cell phone. Somehow it still worked. He was able to call his wife, who called for help. We're gonna pull alongside, do a quick boating safety inspection, we'll let you get on with the rest of your day, okay? Yes, sir, no problem. A Florida Wildlife Commission officer, like the many out this Memorial Day weekend, rescued the four friends around 1 a.m., 20 miles offshore. None of them were wearing life jackets because they say they couldn't get to them in time. If the boat flips over and your life jackets are in the center console, it doesn't do you any good because you never know when something could go wrong. We rode along with FWC officers Saturday afternoon. We saw just how rough the waters can get. I took this video of ABC Action News photojournalist Scott Wilson bouncing on the bow as we raced to perform boat safety checks. Boat registration and some flares if you got them. Most boaters had everything required by law. If not, we just gave warnings. We're out here educating the public. We're not here to hammer people. We just want people to be safe. In the event, they end up up like these guys who tried to stay positive by singing. Just take those old records off the shelf. <laughs> but I wouldn't sing it. I was singing, we're sitting on the part of Jeff's boat. And in between lyrics, said a few prayers. No, I looked up to the stars a few times and said, hey, old man. I'm glad. I'm glad those guys, you know, nobody's hurt and they made it in. Oh, I feel great being with my buddies right here. You know, I just, we bonded forever. Now, those men are still trying to figure out a way to get their boat out of the ocean. They did find out towing it will cost around $5,000, but if they don't pay that, they will have to pay a serious fine. Andrew. All right, thanks, Allison. Tonight, we have a crime alert to tell you about out of Clearwater. The hunt continues for a man accused of 